in the mouth they gave the biggest air base. All right, let's turn down, down the Victor Davis Hansen. Going down the road. Switch into four-wheel drive. See if we can find my friend Frank. Frank the Tank. We are staying at the same hotel. Last night. Oh, let's get this dude out of the way. <laughs> I do. The car turned. Yeah? It's really cold. He said it took him 10 people to get out of this road because it was so muddy yesterday. He said, I got the four wheel drive, I got it. find this dude what do you think Dale we're gonna get the you're gonna use this car as intended oh yeah oh no oh yeah oh, we're shaking. shaking yeah oh no problem getting a little loose trucks are meant to get dirty Dale I think we're back on the on the path, guys. We had some uh, scary, scary off-roading that I probably should have been filming, but I actually required my entire attention. So I knew there was a paved road, so it seemed wrong. But my GPS is not picking up in this area, so it's a little bit fly-by-night to get to old Frank's house. Still a lot of damage in this area. Oh, stupid dog. You know what, Demoy? What? You got your squirt thing to that, to that rice field. He was probably thinking earlier that you're crazy for taking that route. <laughs> I'm crazy, Chris. You call me crazy all the time. He was like wondering earlier. Like the road is just for... The road is just for like walking, not for whales. All right, I gotta figure out here where we're uh, going. Okay. I know. It might be. Just hold on to Dill. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> this guy lives out there, man. I'm hoping I can find his house. Don't stop, baby, don't stop. You! Oh, yeah! Woohoo! Kids yelling. This is quite a adventure. Uh, this tells me that somebody had a car that went through this area. And, uh, I'm <laughs> Learning his GPS location should be over here. But sometimes in off-roading, the best thing that you can do is get out and see it for yourself. Oh, this dude built out there. It's like there's a truck there. <laughs> I was going through the rice fields. That was pretty sketchy. I'm guessing that uh, this looks like the property. Let's see if I can yell out to him here. This looks like a proper gate. Hello! I don't know. Not sure about this one. 
Hadapit. Nadi ha Well, let's see if this guy has a truck. <laughs> I can't I can't believe you made it. <laughs> he didn't believe we were gonna make it. Uh, let me get my my wife out. Chrissy, this is it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, then, no, 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 no. Yeah, look at that J Cruiser. That's how it's supposed to look. You had us on a wild ride. Let's talk about it in a second. Let me shut the car off. Holy smokes, guys, that was insane. That was absolutely Mr. Toad's wild ride. <laughs> so you guys got stuck in this pickup truck? Yes. In this thing right here? Yeah. So, see all the uh, coconut lumber? That was my engineering today. So I, we can get out. I, I, I told Chrissy, I told her, I said, Chrissy, look. All this lumber is fresh. I think I think I even said it on the on the video. I like this lumber is fresh, which means someone got stuck here recently. Same person. And somebody is right behind you, Tim. <laughs> I was like, someone got stuck here recently. So to me, this is a tell because all I had was a GPS. Our scariest part was not we didn't go the right way to get here initially off off of near the airport. Oh yeah. We went into like a rice field, and so we were like. I have a lot of experience actually four wheel driving on construction sites, big earth moving jobs. Yeah. So I've got, but I've never taken this thing. <laughs> but Chrissy was kind of freaking out, like we can't go there. <laughs> the farmer was like thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Not to toot my own horn, but I've done big mass grading jobs and been in four wheel drive quite a bit. So, um, well, yeah. Come in, come in, come in. So this is two wheel drive, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you rented it, right? Yeah. So the, oh my gosh. The funny story with this is, yeah, we paid extra to rent a newer model. A he, nice Ford one. He showed up with the new Ford. Yeah. And then told us the next day that he has to return it to Ford to get some body work done and showed up with this as the replacement vehicle. Oh gosh. So we got baited and switched. That happens with hotel rooms and like little motel rooms all the time. They show you the, oh, that one's not available, sir, once you get there and you've already paid. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not surprised. But look at this. Property here, wow. Now, oh, look, I, I didn't think uh, a spider hops in It was a lot nicer. That that was our I old know. roof right over there. There it is. I mean, this <laughs> in the where, metal heap. Where you're standing right now was waist high water. This this was the eye of the storm right here. Oh, really? Yep. So, where you are, they said the water was probably waist high. Yeah. And it flooded the entire barangay, neighborhood, whatever you call these places. Wow. This entire place was flooded and we lost our roof and we just put a, uh, a, a poured concrete roof as a replacement. Wow. And that, yeah, so that just happened. Unbelievable. I mean, it was done. We had a done house up until Odette. It was done. Yeah. So the, the finish up plan now is we're going to put a terrace on the top. Okay. Since it's a flat concrete Yeah, you got roof, bars up there. We're going to put a nice terrace up there. You you have no idea the hell that I went through with my wife trying to explain to her that I knew what I was doing coming out here. I tried to warn you. <laughs> you did warn me. You warned me, and um, in typical Tim fashion, I rarely listen to anybody. So. And they had solid rain for the past month. That's why it's so wet. We went through this one area. I wish I was filming. This farmer was literally laughing at us. We didn't get stuck though. There were some times where I had to say, you know, Chrissy, you don't want to stop. You want to come in with some momentum into the mud flats. I tried telling her that when she was driving this. She didn't listen. I was like, you can't, you can't stop. You got to power through it. I'm not that, 
that experience with like a rock crawler or anything, but I've been through mud. But yeah, guys, it's uh, it's looking a little, a little chafed. I like it. Yeah, I was scared you were gonna damage your vehicle. That's why I said, well, I know you just got this thing. Ah, uh, this is what this thing is for to make it out yeah, this way. We plenty of clearance. If we don't have this video, if we don't have this car, we don't have this video. So. Thank, thank the uh, the purchase. So yeah. We, so how long did you get stuck for with the truck? Oh, it was kind of funny. Right where all those motorcycles and all. Is the that numbers. the only place you got stuck? Yeah, yeah. So where am I supposed to go from here? Do I cut across to the right? Yeah. When you leave this driveway, the um, what do they call it? The access road. Yeah, yeah. The right of way is to the right, and then there's a little dirt road that takes you up to the main. Uh, so road. so it's a dirt. It's a passable, easy dirt road until this area. I mean, the whole road is like this driveway. So yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Passable. So it's it's kind of like this driveway, but it's. I was. I'm telling you, I was going through rice paddies. No, you went the wrong way. I was like, yeah. So on the way back, I just need to make sure I'm finding a dirt road. Well, as soon as you leave this driveway, you just yeah. hang a right, and then you make your first left, and you just go all the way. Yeah. See that water tank? Yeah, yeah. We had a 37, a 40 tree coconut grove out there. We got one left. Oh my God! You had a 40 tree coconut grove? 50 year old trees. Oh my gosh. 50 year old trees. And then all the cocoa lumber became? It became what we used as to form and support the, the, the concrete roof. So we used all the coconut lumber yeah. to, to, to support the um, plywood while they poured the roof. And they used the rest of it to build this gazebo. Wow. I, just, I just had that built. So, so Frank and I are talking like long-term friends because we met at the pool yesterday. Right, one day. <laughs> so that's why, this is a quick introduction. So, right, you bought this sight unseen. From YouTube. From YouTube. The, the, <laughs> the, the realtor lives around the corner somewhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we also contracted him to build the house for us. Wow. Which was done. Yeah. Until the hurricane and it got destroyed. Oh my gosh. It. Matter of fact, it probably cost us more to rebuild it than it did the initial build. Wow. Because we went with a concrete flat top roof. Yeah. But once we put um, uh, uh, some type of terrace up there, it's probably gonna be pretty cool. Yeah. Nice view, you know, you, you just see forever. So but you... I was thinking, what were the odds that, here you're a guy I, I subscribe to on YouTube who lives basically over there at Leyte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we ended up at the same hotel on the same three days. What are the odds of something like that happening? <laughs> well, the odds are pretty decent in the expat community for me. It's going to happen to me. It's going to happen to you. I don't know how the odds right. are. Right, right. You probably bump into people all the time. I, I'm bumping into more people now that the borders are open. But the property's pretty big. You That's can, okay. I can tell more stories. You can see the... Oh, by the way, you see all those green... Um, that was our old roofing. Yeah, yeah. And they decided it would make an attractive fence. So that was their attempt at a fence. You know, I'm so glad that I... I uh, stopped right there because it gets really gnarly go oh. going across here. It's even worse. That would have been bad. And I, I wasn't, my GPS was not firing all the way here. It was like kind of showing me, it was giving me false uh, indications of where I was until I finally got here and then I realized I'm on top of it. If you keep it, going, I mean, that is the right of way for the future landowners down there. Yeah. So anybody who buys the next parcel or the next parcel with the waterfront, yeah, that's going to be the future right of way. Oh, okay. But we only attempted to rock it up to our driveway because, you know, we don't need to go any further than that. Yeah, no, I understand that. But yeah, we... we so how do you... You should have had me bring you food and supplies. So we're stuck, <laughs> right? We haven't been able to leave. Yeah. Somebody on a motorcycle went to this local Sorry Sorry store, bought little things of soup, peanut butter, a loaf of bread. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, so if this was a, a twin, it would look a lot better. Oh, bigger. you have more. Queen, queen, twin, twin. Yeah. And you wanted queen, queen, have, twin, twin. You could draw them out. It's okay, you don't have to eat them. But it used to be so pretty looking over there, and we have coconut grove. Yeah, you had the coconut grove over here. On, on each corner. Oh my gosh. That is wild. Do you know how many square feet this is? It's, the house is actually just 24 by 24. 24 by 24. Yeah. 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 It's small. So that's what? 24 times 24. 
Well, 300, 300 per square meter times about 8,000. So, that is a lot cheaper than the other beach land that I showed. What do you, what do you think, Dale? Are these candies or rocks? It's quiet. Get the, yeah. get the candy off the new couch, Dale. Well, I think the locals, the locals the know they're here already. Yeah. First thing in the morning, somebody opens yeah. the gate and comes right in through to go to the beach. Because we have a, uh, we built the steps. Yeah, so yeah of course. <laughs> so they're using this for their the beach. Well, they've used it forever, so. Yeah. I think but not, not this room. It used to be they have a little trail out there. Oh. But we Will you improve the trail? The trail. <laughs> we, closed, we closed the trail. Maybe we could put a toll gate up there. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. No, I think you're going to have some constant walkthroughs for ever. <laughs> but our neighbor's a uh, policeman. Yeah. So we have security. There you go. Just we just have dogs. Here's a, a, a YouTube comment. So she went down a one-way street in the town of Ubay, and um, in every single town that you go to that I know of in the province. Oh yeah, really? Um, there's like streets that everybody knows that's a one-way. Except for the person that comes into the so town for the first time. A big sign, right? There's no sign. It's a small sign. No. And you would have to like have a committee of people that would like would would you know um, what do jurors do when they go into their little area? And it, they would have to. You'd have a committee of deliberation to <laughs> like. To, to even see if that little sign would be, half the people would say, no, that's not a sign. Half the people might might say it's a sign. A map is yeah. posted right there. Yeah, it's posted it's right there be. in black and white about this big. We can even make it to the house if we got a hundred, hundred peso ticket. Oh, that's perfect. Well, Welcome at, to the community. At least they're not the corrupt one where they just well, at least asking, not the, yeah. asking you for money. So he, they keep saying, it's only hundred pesos. It's only hundred pesos. I thought he wanted a hundred pesos. So we have to hundred pesos. No, ma'am, we don't take the money. You, you have to go to the office. Yeah. You gotta pay the I money. It's so much easier if you take it and let me go. Exactly. <laughs> can I just give you a, a five hundo underneath the uh, <laughs> one so I can go on my merry way? Yeah, right. Maybe that's what he wanted. I um, I don't know that I want to admit to this, but I haven't had a great success doing doing such things. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've been uh, I've been almost got in trouble for some something that something along those lines. I'll leave it in the gray area. But uh, but the AC is working good. You got 24 by 24, and you're let's say twenty five thousand dollars plus into the house. Oh, but don't use a plus sign. Use a multiplier. Yeah, multiplier. Multiplier. But I had to do the concrete roof. If it wasn't for if it wasn't for, for the like, typhoon, you would have stopped a little bit around there. I think we're in for 30. Okay. With the original house. 30 isn't bad. Yeah, but, you know. So you're basically, you're around $50,000 for this this piece of property with the house. Only house. The the land. Yeah, there's going to be a few extras, but, but round numbers. So this is about 100. Yeah. With the property. With the property. Wait, 100,000? Wait, how do we go? Wait, how do we go to? So the property. I thought the property was twenty thousand. No, three hundred square meter. Okay, three hundred. I'll do the math after this. Yeah. Three hundred times eight thousand. Yes, that's right. Okay. Two point two million pesos. Oh, is it two point? I couldn't do math. I was I was stuck on one million. <laughs> so it's about forty. No, if I remember correctly, the property was fifty thousand dollars. About forty-eight. Yeah. Right, right. The property was fifty thousand dollars total. Yeah. The house was twenty-five thousand, and then the hurricane cost us an extra ten thousand. But we went, we went over budget on the twenty-five thousand, and we went over budget on the ten thousand. Yeah. It's always over budget. Of course, after the hurricane, the the materials are. Uh, yeah, after the, yeah, you you had to buy materials at the absolute. Um, not only did you have the Putin price hike, 
as they say. But um, you had the Typhoon Odette price hike. Yeah, we got. But you're here now. You made it. Yeah. We and made you'll it. be here for four weeks or so. Yeah. And Hopefully you'll be we back. Can get it all settled, and we can come back, and it's all settled. We don't have to redo anything else. It's the tropics. It's always a work in progress. Yeah, I, I think. Right. That's what I told them. Yeah. So we we've been talking. We want to put the uh, roll roll down uh, hurricane shutters. Yeah. And you see them in the stores over here, so I don't see why not. Yeah, there's not a lot of forethought on that. Or putting even just like wood, like on the sides, wood slots, yeah. wood slots to put to cover in wood. Because yeah. I got asked like all the time, oh, why didn't you cover the windows with uh, plywood? Well, first of all, you have to nail it into concrete. Yeah. Second of all, it's not my house, which is really should be the number one. <laughs> so it's not my responsibility to protect the property. Yeah. But um, anyway, well, you're here, guys. Thanks for sharing, and thanks. I'm glad that we're able to make it here. It's um. Oh. Appreciate you visiting us. Yeah. Looks like we got uh, There's some, some kids out there. Kids, those are our main those contractors. Are oh, those are your contractors? Uh oh. They're not kids. <laughs> your phone is in there. Oh, it's in where? I don't remember. It's in the truck, right? No, it's right there. Oh, oh where? You put it there. Where did I leave the phone? Oh, what? Hold on, Chris. Uh, Sim's missing the phone. Put it down? Which one are you looking for, man? Oh, I put a couple of them. Oh my god, crazy. Can you take it? What are you doing? Can Dale eat the peanut? Yes. Are you really cleaning my leg off? What an amazing Filipino wife. I was what? You about to hit me. Okay, we gotta eat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he was eating that gummy bit. Oh, great. Hey, uh, great, out, great nutrition for Dale. Hey, you're pounding down the pot. Yeah, he, he's helping us out. He's pressing down the board for us. Yeah. Chrissy, take this stuff. You guys are getting younger instead of older. I added, I added more child labor. <laughs> and the white one. Are you the master electrician? <laughs> Where are you going? That's the electrician. Hey, Dale. That's the electrician. Are you going home? <laughs> That's the uh, uh, water, water, water. Hey. Oh, bye. Hey, get back here. The treasure shoes is sleep. It's dirty. Did you have to close and open that gate? Yeah. Some uh, Someone did it for us. Oh, he didn't have to. We're still engineering the roadways. Well, from a house in Bohol, <laughs> we are on our way to Leyte. So That's thank awesome. you very much, Frank. And Nick, my pleasure, Tim. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Vem. <laughs> Vem? Nice to meet you. All right, perfect. I'm gonna see, uh, Hi, Chrissy, I might, nice I might do like a 30 point turn to get, Hi, away, to get around here. Um, dog, turn in the dog. Oh, where's the... There we go. Let's listen to this thing start up. Oh, yeah. It's really hard for us to hit up because it's going to rain. Ah, it's going to be fine, Chrissy. Ye of little faith. Watch this masterful four-wheel drive. Oh yeah, loving it. Whoa, no problem. All right, thanks for watching that interesting adventure, guys. <laughs>